Hey friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about a very serious topic of discussion and uh, I am dead serious about it and that is regarding the notification of CSI NET exam after June 2020. The NET examination has been stopped for last two consecutive sessions and it includes the December session of 2021 that will become three sessions of CSI NET exam and that's been snubbed. So the big question in every single aspirant's head is when will the CSI NET December 2021 be held or will be held or not or will it be snubbed again like the last two sessions consecutively. So the simple straightforward answer to that is no. There is no news from CSIR, there is no news from UGC, there is no news from NTA. The authorities who are responsible of conducting the most prestigious, most prestigious as per their concern, as per their point of view, the most prestigious PhD entrance examination in India and that's been stopped for now three consecutive sessions. How do you feel about that? How you NTA feel about it? How UGC feels about it? How CSIR feels about it? No one is responsible for the future of this upcoming scientists, life science students, biologists all across India. There are other PhD entrances examinations and they are being conducted. It's not likely that all the other examinations are being snubbed. No. UPSC is being conducted normally. NEET is being conducted normally. This is only for the higher education research. The examination is not being conducted. What is the reason behind it? In this video, we are trying to understand the reason behind it. Although you'll find many videos of different channels and all in different places that the date will come at uh, you know October, the date will come in November, the date will come in September. They've been telling you uh, all this since last one year because no one knows the real fact. Nobody knows what's going on inside CSIR headquarters, inside UGC. No one knows. Everybody claim to know. They say that they have a contact, they have a this and that. Bullshit. Nothing is there. There is no clue, there is no point of view, there is no point of argument because they themselves don't know how they will conduct it, how they are going to conduct this exam. So be serious now for a while and ask this question repeatedly to the concerned authorities. Ask this to CSIR, ask this to UGC, ask this to NTA. When will you conduct the exam? When will you conduct the exam? There are plenty of people on queue and if they conduct one exam, because they are not going to conduct three exams which are not which are already pending. They are not going to do that. Of course, it's logical. They are not going to do that, probably. If they do that, that's a bonanza. But I don't think they'll do it because for that they need to prepare huge amount of question, which is which I don't think they are going to devote time for. And many people ask me, so that means it's a good for microbiology field, it's good for biotechnology, immunology field, because people are interested in it. Government should, government should allocate more funds for uh, this research and all. I said, I made a video already one year ago, I said nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Government will do nothing for this field. Period. That's over. Whoever is dreaming you and providing you the, the you know with magazines and biotech magazines and all that by 2025, biotech is going to be getting 20 like 10% of Indian GDP and all. Rubbish. Not going to happen. If it's going to be happen, then there must be a system to it. In India. If you are in the medical field, there, are on, there is only one profession that people understand that that's MBBS, that's doctor. Nothing else matters for people. Okay, they only know about doctors. They don't know about researchers. They don't know about scientists. In India, the common Indian people still the image of scientist is someone who has big, hairy like this this uh, Khosla type hair and uh, big glasses and ruining their life over a research. It's ha it does not change a little bit. I'm, I'm making this video from uh, the scientific temperament and the anger that I have for this uh, careless approach towards research field. I'm not talking about only biological field but all the other research field, particularly biological research, research field where only people know about one profession that is doctor. Apart from that, there is no paramedical profession that stands out. There is no a sub paramedical profession that stands out there's no research profession that stands out no one understands it you're doing b tech degree in biotechnology K 
can you tell me like which btech from biotechnology acquire the same salary as a fresher like any other btech engineer any other field or rather than biological sciences rather than biotechnology the salary gap is almost 5 to 10 times the exam is not being conducted for one and a half years now how can you expect the aspirants to stay in india and country here to do their research they are not staying here it's lot easier to go outside india and do doing phd from outside of india from germany from russia from us from uk netherlands iran even from all these places people are flying from india to do their research work and they are quite easily getting there of course there is a, a initial investment involved not everyone can afford that but once you do that you can get a on campus job a research assistant job or a teaching assistant job and you can still earn something while you studying outside india that's the normal rule that people earn some amount of money from other on campus or off campus jobs to fund their process of msc and phd if all of us just sit in our place and don't put fingers to the concerned authorities they're not going to do anything they're not going to conduct anything right because there are plenty of research there are plenty of csr net institutes there are plenty of uh, gate institutes icmr institutes coaching centers are out there right this coaching centers business runs on this idea that these exams will be conducted these days a simple fashion is there that people uh, are not willing to learn and willing to understand something uh, people are not reading to understand people not people are not that crazy to read for understand they they just they are just reading to qualify an exam to get a job that's the reality right now that's the reality that's why people are shifting their uh, subjects people are shifting from their deviating from their uh, initial approach that is the biological science from there they are moving for mba they are doing other degrees they are doing other degrees they are changing the stream to get a good handsome salary because the salary package offered after graduation of life sciences in basic terms are very less compared to all the other fields particularly engineering field so people are moving to the other dimension and all these coaching institutes what they are doing instead of just printing money the best idea is to tell people is to ask this question to the concerned authorities it's all of our duties to ask the concerned authorities then when will you publish when will you publish the notification at least give us some hope there are plenty of students out there and all of those who are watching this video right now my subscriber base is huge and i don't know how much how many of them are currently watching the recurrent one and the new subscribers as well we are always there for you and we will ask this question continuously repeatedly when will the notification come share this video tweet to nta csir ugc ask them when they are going to conduct an exam we need a date we need a notification at least something we are not going to settle with arbitrary answers like like uh, the csir net exam uh, will be conducted don't worry but the dates will be declared shortly explain shortly explain with a date explain at least with a month at least with a month that by the month by december by january by february we are going to conduct an exam don't worry no one is there to take responsibilities these days that's the harsh reality right now there is no governing authorities ready to tell and take the responsibility that we are going to conduct it and we comment that we are going to do that by january by february India is celebrating 100 crore vaccination a milestone what will you do with this milestone just by saying milestone it will not work 100 crore vaccination we trust in your vaccine you trust in those researchers who work day and night to to make this as a reality which sound fictional earlier now it's a reality and you are snubbing the very exam that those person need to do in order to get into that position how come you are going to be able to fight against future outbreaks which is going to happen 2025 30 31 and any time in future it's covid it can be some other virus it can be something else it can be some other, some other things 
and i bet you i, I can i can give you 100% guarantee the indian health system healthcare system will again fall because india is growing rapidly we are not putting an end to the indian growth and population growth so no matter what situation it is the medical system will always be under huge and tremendous pressure of dealing patients it's going to crash and you're not considering any other field as worthy of involving with the medical field biochemistry you don't give them proper credit microbiology you don't give them proper credit virology you don't give them proper credit so what will happen to a country where person more interested to understand about virus from any other person rather than a virologist rather than a person who is being doing research in virus about virus for a decade or long they are not the person that you are putting the mic to you are holding the mic in front of someone who does not know about virus and this is what's going to happen that's the reality so if you want this exam csi need to come back if you want this exam should happen rather than finding different options different plans then ask shout ask to the governing authorities when you are going to conduct the exam if you open the nta site you are going to see the last exam is june 2020 the result june 2020 that's it nothing after that no exam december 20 june 21 december 21 and if december 21 exam need to be conducted then the form and notification must must have been released by now it's october end it's only one month left i think still the time is left still people can go and there is a huge amount of crowd on queue so now if they conduct an exam normally normally how many people apply 80000 to 1 lakh 1 lakh 20000 this time i believe more than 3 lakh people 4 lakh people will apply so the competition is going to be huge they must provide more seats more than 2000 more than 5000 i think will be logical 5000 6000 seats would be logical but it's all my idea i really can't do more than this about of shout out so i want all of my subscribers and also my fellow coaching institutes so at least think about it shout it out share this because this is about the future it's it's beyond the money that we make from running coaching institutes it's beyond anything else it's it's actually the idea of of the indian uh, biotech future indian future for life science students otherwise we we'll lose them they will move to other countries they are being they are moving to other countries we cannot stop them why would you so that's the that's the big question this video is something that i want all of i, I want a provocation to all of the subscribers that are watching this video my seniors watching the video my juniors watching the video my colleagues that are watching the video that this is something that we all should do we want an answer and we will not take no for an answer we need a date a date or a week or a month we need something to work on otherwise the the motivation of students are being shattered we cannot fix it with making videos only but we are trying to do our best at shomus biology so that's all about today's video and i will not say whether you like it or dislike it doesn't matter it matters that this voice reaches to the concerned authorities and it's my request to all of you please make it happen we all can ask the question we all can work together our way out so that the exam date must be announced must be released and we'll get our desirable options open in front of our eyes so that's all about it thank you